Previously on The Elder Scrolls Skyrim, we finally did it. We completed our last quest. We made it from River Run to White Run, the capital of this hold. We journeyed through many farms. We met a sacrificial cow. We followed it for as long as we could. We robbed everyone we could. We started some quests. We found some things. It really was quite the journey of picking things up. We met our first Khajiit, and they did not attack us on sight or were dead. They were quite interesting as well as helpful in their wares, and now we're here in the first bar we found in Whiterun, making our way towards the Jarl as our quest requires. We're here with Sven. He's hanging in there with us. He's he's doing okay. He's doing all right. Sven, anything you'd like to add for the good people or the, or the bad people or just the okay, any, anything at all? Blink twice if, if you if you can. Yeah, okay, there's one. Another. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's with us. Okay, one person to rob. Two people to rob. Three people to rob. Fiend. I swear there's someone at this chair like a second ago. Oh, there he is. Okay, maybe they're a thing. Hello, hello. Okay, let's, uh, let's one at a time, please. Okay. Think he'll mind if I'm here? Think he'll mind if I'm here? We're gonna read the black arrow. Archery increased, awesome. Just waiting to see like, who can see us? That guy, come on guy. <clears throat> Shut up Sven. He like clears his throat whenever we're up to like something that's kind of sneaky. Interesting it shows lockpicks valued at two, but without fail, they, they cost five. They cost five. So someone will see that. Let's go ahead and pick pocket to this guy. District very often. Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Then why'd you ask? What's wrong with this guy? Okay. Okay, he's got quite a lot of nice stuff. 50 gold, which is pretty wild. Like most people do not carry around 50 gold. Flawless garnet, so that's like the improved version. Most people don't carry around flawless gems. Key to a farm and a manor. Just take those. And then he also has a silver amethyst ring. See, it's got the gem in it. And a sapphire necklace. Pickpock. All right. He caught us on the necklace. He really, he really got us there. We're going to get to the Jarl and like his town will have just been robbed dry. Courtesy of us. Because our pick bog, it's 58. Man, we're going to max this skill. 50, 60. There it is. Quick as we can here. And let's just see who else we can, we can uh, you know. Blade and shadow. Silence and death. These are my arts. For a modest fee, I'll make great art for you. The Janessa just offered to, like, kill people for us? Well, she's got is an iron dagger. Let's talk to her. I know nothing of fear and nothing Whoa. of remorse. Pay my fee. And together we will vanquish Consider any Consider yourself hired. You're a mercenary another time. Let's see, are you a mercenary, Janessa? I am an artisan, painting in strokes of blood red upon the canvas of life. But yes, I will take coin to fight at your side. Is After this a better all, Sven? Where is the value in creating art if there is nobody left alive Do to you see? It's a great point. Another time. If you perhaps. change your mind, seek me out here. Alright, thank you. Every day. Walk always in shadows. The zine is say, like this guy here. Maybe you'd like to try the horker or some beef. <laughs> Are they fighting? You don't prepare them. Eat with any of those. I don't think this guy's think very that? nice. Like he looked at this guy who just walked in the door and says, you have anything actually fresh and well made? Like, I'm not uh, sure that's a, a no, very nice question. No elven spices, just and then the the Nazim guy who asked us kind of the weird question or maybe rude would be a better I'm not word afraid of anything he was like I you didn't you use any weird elven stuff you did nice. you no no this meat won't do it all too much fat and it all smells wrong suit yourself then the woods are that way outside the walls walk straight ahead can't miss them good luck on your hunt good day does he hunt? No offense, but you're not looking so good. 
Are you feeling ill? We just need a sleep, I think. I think we just, just need a big sleep. Okay, we talk to her, talk to him. And talk to Nazim. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Oh, it took years. But I earned my way to the top. I own Chilfero Farm, you see. Very successful business, obviously. I like how he scoffs at us like it was like we should know. But here he is sitting all by himself staring at the I actually the advise the Jarl on political matters. My input is invaluable, of course. Kind of an but this guy. is all probably a bit over your head. I'll just leave him alone. He's not very fun. Ah, hello, my Nord friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? I like how he doesn't address us by name, but he's like, Oh, I see the race you are. Let me call you by race. <laughs> Hello. I assume he's an elf. Hello, elf. I'm not really sure. Could you be an elf? Is this a thing? Is this rude? Is this friendly? Who should I talk to for work? Try Holda, the innkeeper at the Bannered Mayor. It's just up the road near the market. Okay. You should check in at Dragon's Reach, too. There's so much going on these days. The Jarl or his steward might have need of help. Good point, good point. It's like the second or third person to tell us to go to the other end, I think. Yes, I hear that question often. Why is it named the Drunken My brother Anorioth and I came up with it one night after consuming rather too much mead. We respect that. After Nordic our drinks, tradition, you know, we went out for Nords. a moonlight hunt. We got separated, and in his drunken state, my brother mistook me for a deer. Oh, no. He shot an arrow that pierced my, well, rump. <laughs> After such a memorable adventure, we knew we had the name for our shop. I like how El Eldeer here, Eldeer. I don't know why I can't say this. I like how he's like very comfortable being like looking at me like, "Hey Nord, what's up, Nord guy, Nord?" But he's like, "I might have been shot in the butt with an arrow." Like weirder things have happened, man. Trust me. Thank you very much for your business. Oh, yeah, I actually, I just stole all your valuables. I'm not, um, read Battle of Champions? What is this? Started battle. We're going to take the animal and away. So another quest. We've picked up another quest. Optional steel snow bear, bear pelts. We are hungry. We're not going to feed ourselves just yet, because once we sleep, we'll end up even hungrier. I know, it's crazy how that works. Um... Is this his house, or he just... This is just where he, like, drifts off. This is the guy who is not very... That was just lying around? Good find. Oh, thank you. He's just happy we're stealing from Nazim? That is really funny. Who's watching us? Everyone. Literally, I think Sven... Sven tipped him off. What if I close the door? Wow. Sir, you are magic. Must be that arrow to your rump. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. What else is there to do around White Run, huh? Who else is getting robbed? This guy, this guy. Oh wait, I think we already. Yeah, he's. Get looks... away from me. Okay. Bye. Sven, get him. <laughs> Look at this little dagger Sven has on his backpack. Alright, what is this building here? Can we. There near door. What is this? The general goods store. I've got your back. Let's Thank get you, going. Thank you, Sven. Then. I actually, I picked. I, I tried to click like undo the lock. Look. To do some. He has again. one piece of gold. Avoid Britishin. We're taking it. And his torch. Filthy. You have okay. committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? I'd rather die. Okay, well done, sir. Sven, any, any, anything you're gonna do? Now yeah. Sven gets involved. What a guy! Don't All right, we won't take your torch. It. Yep, we're um, we're done thinking about it. How about that, huh? I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of meat. They all say that. Hello there. Hi. Nothing. Okay. Gold key to your house. Lock pick. Silver ring. Our work here is done. Let's chit chat. Once Hello? I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the bannered mare from Hulda. Is she selling it? What do you know of the Khajiit? About the same as everyone else. They're the catfolk of Elsewhere. Great warriors, good traders. Way I hear it, Elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. 
It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. Interesting. It sounds awful. What? Man, there's no one want to, like, try any change, huh? You mentioned trading caravans? Yeah. These Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. Okay. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Why aren't they trusted? Like, why not? Do you trust them? Matter of fact, I do. They've been fair enough with me, far as I can tell. And a Nord knows a liar when she sees one. Interesting. Yeah. It's got to be t Worst thing is, uh, nobody wants them Why doesn't anyone the trust them, though? Reputation, mostly. A lot of Khajiit turn to smuggling and thievery to get by. Uh, a few okay. bad apples spoil the bunch. You know how it is. Yeah, the Nords are not very forgiving. So, Yasolda, you're looking to become a merchant? Before my Ma and Da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. A mammoth tusk, huh? So I can say good luck with that or maybe I can help. We've got one. She can have it. You do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? Yeah, sure. Ma'am, here's your mammoth tusk. Thank you. This should turn that old cat's gaze. Maybe I'll be able to become a caravaneer myself one day. Here's As promised, let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. Don't want some shifty merchant giving you a raw trade. Okay, speech increased to 24. Farewell. Okay, here's the thing I really want in... Let's drop a quick save here. It's a fine day with you around. Oh, thanks. So now she likes to see us. We can actually steal back this mammoth tusk. I wonder if that resets things. We're going to leave it on her. She clearly needed it for whatever she had going on. What is all this stuff? Oh, it's like a mark. What time is it? It's like 10 p.m. Who's this? Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Okay, okay. And we're going to harvest these mountain flowers. So let's go into... The Bannered Mare. Love this sign. Very Nordy Nord sign. Lots of Nords, Nord stuff. The Bannered Mare. We're going in. Uh, this is going to be exciting. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. All right. Thank you, Hildy. Look at all these people. Oh, we can rob the whole town now. <laughs> so we already got him. He's just carrying around an entire sack of flour. Spooky. Oh, Sadia. Nobody yes, in here. Just a reminder, sweetie. The blankets still need to be washed. All right, here's Sigurd. All right, not our finest moment. Somebody what are you gonna do about it? Clairvoyance. Oh yeah. Okay, Sven just put an arrow in this man's neck. Sven, you crazy man. Oh, the guards. <laughs> I'd rather die. We have started a good old-fashioned tavern brawl, haven't we? Yeah, get him, boys! <laughs> oh, no! Who came at us with a giant two-handed sword? So we cast a fury spell on the guy that's attacking us? And that... Who is this moron on the flute? And that made him attack someone random, I guess? And then they all ganged up on him? Just kind of funny. You trying to hide? Because I can see you playing as dead. Can you now? Goat, lockpick. This guy had two lockpicks. First person we've seen with two lockpicks. All right. Mikael? This guy needs a swift kick in the butt. What is his problem with this flute? He's got a fancy gold ring. We're just crushing it. Who is this? Carlotta? Lockpick tomato. Man, we're new in town, but you guys are uh, are doing pretty well, all things considered. Okay, here's a gray main lockpick. Oop, she got us. Well done here. Then we'll start chatting with people. I think we... Oh, she got us again on the lockpick. It's a 90% chance. It's a 90% chance we don't mess that up. We'll just get the gold and the key first. Drop a save. Run back the lockpick. Man, that lockpick must just be stuffed up somewhere nook and safe and tucked. Like, we can't get it. It's just tucked in there somewhere. 
90% chance. I right, got it. All right. All I had to say was it couldn't be done. And right away, Sven was like, we could do it. Come on. Mm -hmm. Ulf Burr. Want to hear a little Nord Ulf wisdom? Guard. Yeah. You don't really know a woman till you had a strong drink and a fist fight with her. Uthgard, you, you're right. Uthgard, you know a thing or two, don't you? Okay, she's got a house. That's always a good start, right? Okay, she's got two nice rings. Wow, and a great necklace. You little yeah, these are low odds. These are actually really hard to take. Like, normally we have a solid 90%, but here Keep we're uh, we're sitting at 80. Soft got guy. it. I think the, the risk I'm of, more like, woman than not stealing it... All right, that's good enough. Let's talk. Let's handle. talk. She said I'm more woman than a soft gut like you can handle. I respect mm. that. Okay, we robbed you. We robbed you. I You're new. Done. Nothing. Okay, gold. They were ready. They were ready. We've been creeping around. Clearly, like, these people are, like, pretty familiar with each other. Like, there's the drunken huntsman, right? But everyone's here at this inn. And it just makes me wonder, like... It makes me wonder why that is. Like, why is this the end to go to? Like, I, I know that's just how it goes sometimes, but... Silver Garnet Ring. Okay, he's got a leather from Alfina. Let's just read it. Okay, John, I know it's hard, but please try and be patient. We must keep to ourselves for now. You know that both our families would react so very badly if they knew. Dot, dot, dot. If they even suspected. There will be a time when we don't need to hide. I promise you that someday they will understand. Oh, some kind of secret love affair thing going on here. Okay, who has not been robbed? I, I think enjoy this just, work well enough. Just Hildy, and I'll take the 12 but gold I'm ready she's to got. Retire. I've been thinking of selling the Inte Solda. Oh, really? Anyway, what do you need? So it is for sale. I just want to read what's on your counter chop for sale. Oh, for sale, one tamed mountain goat. Able to carry a hefty amount of weight. All right, well. To the throat of the world and back again. Gives good milk. Is that code? Is that a code? If interested in purchasing, see Halvar in Rorikstead. Signed Halvar. Now let's take that. Let's go buy that goat. Sven, we're buying a goat. The Jarl can figure out his dragon problem later. There's a there's a goat. Anybody see us? Literally everyone. <laughs> what can okay, I get okay. What can All right, you? let's... I work for Bellathor at the General Goods Store. Who has not been robbed? I think that's everyone. Yeah, I mean, we we got them. We got them real what? good. Why are you looking at? Dar you and your stupid is flute, Mikael. Is there a coin? Uh, sure. I'm so. Have oh, one thank gold. Thank you, divines. Bless your kind this heart. This is Lucia. Why are you begging, Lucia? It's it's what Brennan said I should do. He's the only one that's been nice to me since. Since Mama. Since she died. My aunt and uncle took over our farm and threw me out. Said I wasn't good for anything. Wow. I wound up here, but I, I don't know what to do. I miss her so much. I wonder where else we can do to help Lucia here. I could adopt you. Whoa! Um. Hey. Actions speak louder than words. I mean, we were trying to help. Yeah, why not? Lucia, we um we have nothing. Just we have a Sven, and he's he's Mikhail. Just shut up. I could adopt you if you want, Lucia. Really? Do you do you have a place I could live? Ooh, I don't. Oh well. Thanks anyway. Okay. Yeah. Apparently that doesn't work. <laughs> now I think it's hot. If it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. Once Mikhail gets them, they're got. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so, um, in other news, <laughs> I'm just curious, uh, what do you do around here? I'm a bard, trained oh. at the Bard's College in Solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. He was like, my job's to be obnoxious. They taught me. All right, where'd you learn the play? Dot, dot, dot. There's a whole college up in solitude. Ah, uh -huh, right, right, right. Song, loot playing. This man is a poetry. broken record. I studied there myself. Had to leave over a misunderstanding with a uh -huh, mistress. Uh huh. Uh, more a misunderstanding with her husband. You didn't toss a coin, huh? Should have made that. Can I make a request? Sure. Go away. What can I do for you? Uh, can you take a break? Sure. My voice could use a rest. I love that. That's an option. <laughs> Security in Whiterun is terrible. 
Shameful is what it is. Sinmer, tell me about it. Tell me about it, Nord friend, Nord guy. The gods in this city are all lazy and undisciplined. Things need to change. Sinmer, you're right. Tell me Come more. Commander Caius. <laughs> Walks around Dragon's Reach like a preening rooster. I could do his job blindfolded. I need to buy this man a drink. Let's go, Sidmir. Let's go. I'm waiting. Okay. I'm a bard by trade. Perhaps you've heard of me. Let's talk to Sigur no here. I work for Bellathor at the General. Okay, Lord that's Store. all he's got. We've talked to her. Gave her the tusk. You're the best. Can you be oh, my father? We were trying. That's kind of a weird way to ask that question, you know, but up. yeah. There's this lovely Argonian ballad I've been studying. Don't do it. Are you trying to scare off my customers, son? Lively. Keep it lively. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, how about? The gutter snipe. How about not the gutter well, snipe? That's not bad. But I was thinking Mogo's Mead. Yeah, really Mogo's Mead. Smoothing. Really does. Ah, an excellent suggestion. I'll do that one then. He's gonna keep start singing. I literally just asked him to take a break. Let's talk to if Seda. It, if you need more food or drink, speak to Hulda. What's on the menu? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. I feel like she was offering more than food with that statement. Just tell me you've got salt. Like, I feel like there's a wink at the end. Oh, she does. I'll buy the salt. We just lost 15 gold. No, I don't please. know if I can live with no that. No more questions. Okay, talk to John Battleborn. Well met, Kinsman. Okay, a question on his dialogue on our first conversation. Where can I get a drink? In the bar. He's holding a drink. Whatever, man. Where can I get a drink, John? Ah, <laughs> the most important question of all. Hey, what one. can I say, Nords? You'll want the bannered mare. Okay. See old Hulda. Old She'll Hulda's literally right there. Me. She doesn't look that but old. mind the bard, Mikhail. Yeah, there's Ponsy Mikhail. Milk drink. Yeah, that poncy little milk drinker. Let me write that down in my Nord insult book. <laughs> poncy little milk drinker. How dare you? You don't like Mikhail, John? Yeah, man gives bards a bad name. We Nords have a long history as warrior poets. True. I am proud to count myself among them. But Mikael, he sings only for gold and the affections of wenches. Mm. He dishonors our traditions. Okay. That's good to know. First off, uh, don't tell anyone, John, but I do enjoy some chocolate milk. I really do. But now that I know that's a traditional Nord insult, milk drinker. We're gonna we're gonna throw that one out. That's a good one. Any place I can find some work, Sean? Ain't sure if they're taking on new members, but you should talk to the companions. They're over in their hall. Your basker. If by work, you mean testing your steel in bloody battle. Okay, John, do you live here? Aye, that I do. Half oh, all my life. Run. Okay, like the town, the greater town. We have town. been here since the beginning, along with the Grey Manes. Our family's been close as kin for generations, but Ulfric Stormcloak's uprising has divided us. Now, seems we can scarce look at each other without coming to blows. Interesting. And foolish that. They are saying John. dragons have returned to Skyrim. Now that there... That's a real problem. I think John's really level-headed, huh? He's like, hey, look, our families have been here generations. We always got along. The Civil War came. We took different sides, and now we don't get along. But, like, for him, the Civil War isn't nearly as real of a problem as the... as the dragons. May your sword Interesting. Be sharp. And your tongue sharper. Oh, John, you nailed it. I genuinely am trying to write down some of these. Just, uh, may your sword be sharp. Can I put that in, I don't know, pleasant, I don't know. I've got insults and compliments now. Was that a farewell? I completely just forgot what he said. Is like, oh boy. <laughs> Something about our sword being sharp. Sounded good. Sharp swords. Right? Yeah, you definitely. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. Are you I've now? been thinking of selling the inn to Isolda. Anyway, what do you so need? So she'll sell us a room. Who's don't left take this the, the wrong way. But you look a little sickly. We are. We are sick. All right, we're going to save here. Because yes. I happen to know this is a fist fight that we are going to want to do. Need something? Um. Uh, let's go ahead Need and buy a room. <clears throat> we'll what eat can I something. Get you? Oh, okay, where can I learn more about magic? Magic is for the weak. Elves, I mean. 
They keep to that college in Winterhold. They know their place. Of course, there is Farangar. He might be the Jarl's wizard, but at least he's a Nord. I love how, like, the Nords are like, Nords only. Nords for Nords. Nords for Nord. Nords. Nords. Right? Like, she's like, the elves keep to that college. They know their place. Oh, okay, Hulda. Heard any rumors lately? I assume you saw the Gildergreen? No. Big tree all burnt up in the yeah, middle of the that. wind district. How did I miss that? It's Where's part the of the district? temple of Kinareth. People want Tanika to do something about it, but who's I don't pushing know what me? They expect. Oh man. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try Need that again. Hungry, tired, or just plain? People Heard say there's someone in Riften that can change your face, make you look completely different. Do you believe that? I don't know. Give me the latest gossip. The companions. In Jorvasker? They're recruiting new members from what I hear. Okay. Are there any problems around town that need handling? That's a new dialogue. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Bounty Restless Spirits. Let's make sure we just read that so that we... We're just gonna let our character read it here so that we don't have to... Because it'll, like, update the map, right? And... I enjoy uh, this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. Okay, so we can I've rent a room of now. Me. This is the fall from glory. We can just take that. that. Not a steal. Anyway, what do you need? We're going to talk to Uthgard here. Think you can go blade to blade with me? You'd be dead in six seconds. You know, Uthgard, sounds like you've got a bit of a grudge, huh? You've been talking to those companions? What? Too hot-headed, they cried. Weak, pathetic cowards. The lot of them. The whole lot of them, huh? Why did the companions reject you? Man, she just throws a punch. This is why. Just blasts us in the face. It wasn't my fault. I told them over and over that it was an accident. Was it? They wanted me to prove my worth. So they threw me up against a young whelp of a lad, hardly old enough to grow his first chin hairs. I guess they thought a woman wasn't strong enough to hurt him. I didn't mean for him to die. Why would I want that? I just... I just lost control. Oh, okay. So, you must really love the fight. The heat of the battle is the fire that forges the strongest Turn, blades. write that down, write it's that down! Nord it's an old Nord proverb. That <laughs> oh, no. and a true Nord never misses a chance to test her worth. Okay, Uthgar, we're gonna fight. We are. Good, just chat not, time's over. Yep, chat, chat, time. just not, not, just give me a second. We really should like sleep and eat. We are actually like very unwell. Is this a um a mammoth tusk? This whole what time the I lady who wants to buy her in. What do you think you're I tried to click her face and I clicked steal. This whole time the lady that wants to buy her in, in order to like progress her career. Wanna right, hear she a little needs... Lord wisdom? Yeah. You don't really oh, know a woman until you have and, and the dream. What can I get you? The lady who wants to buy the inn can get mentorship from someone. She can get a mammoth tusk, and the lady who's trying to sell I'm the inn has the mammoth or... tusk. <sighs> Alright, I like to read a room 10 gold. It hurts. I, I just, I'm not doing it. Need... I, ref I refuse. How are we doing on gold? Oh, Anything we only else? have like just almost 8,000. If it's work you're looking for, hold us. I just, I can't do it. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Let's just keep kind of moving forward. How are we doing on weight? Not good. Like 10 more pounds, we're going to be overweight. Let's go ahead and... Uh, there's definitely more things to do here, but it's 2 a.m., so, like, all these shops are clearly closed. Here's the tree they were talking about. There's more stuff going on here, I'm sure. I'm, like, really sure. Okay, that's a locked door. It's kind of a neat old structure. Let's go ahead and just keep going up towards... This is where our quest marker is. Talk about, like, a hard-to-attack position. At least from this side, huh? Maybe the water's a weak spot? I don't know. Dragon's Reach Discover. So, we're gonna drop a save. And we're gonna open the door. And this should progress the quest, hopefully. Because they, they... We've got the sword for the guy. And we've got... What are you looking at? Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. You want to fight? Fight us! Come on! 
We are hungry though. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> We're very hungry though. Wow. What would you have me do then? She pulls the sword, runs straight at us. Are you kidding me? Lord, we didn't do it. This is no time. We didn't do it yet. I just think we need stop. To stop it. Warmer, What's the meaning of this interruption? Y'all, Balgruff is not receiving visitors. Then? Okay. Um, I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Girder sent me Riverwood's in danger. Let's mention Girder's name. It sounds like that'd be a little more reputable than like some stranger who's like, I know about the dragon, wink. As House Carl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. Okay. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. So she knows Girder then. I was told to give the message directly to the Jarl. Not true. Okay, we'll say the dragon has destroyed Helgen. You know about Helgen? The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Approach. We were kind of, kind of, sort of. Can we rob her? Anything good? Ooh, she's got stuff. Ooh, she's got the stuff. Nine gold right there. A lockpick. Elven bow. 50% chance we get that bow. Not good odds. Thank you, good. Yeah, those weren't good odds. Like, it was worth the risk, but like, uh... Yeah. Alright, over two. Alright, we cannot run. Pickpocket increases to 69. Nice. Can we talk to Sven for a second? Still here. Hi, What do you Sven. want me to care? Hi. Let's get All going, right, Sven. then. Alright, Sven. Let's get going. We're gonna go talk to the, the Jarl here. We're actually probably gonna try and rob him. What can I say? Maybe we can sneak to the side. I don't want to get like locked in a conversation just yet. So you were at Helgen. You okay. saw this dragon with your own eyes. And it's a little embarrassing here. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So we're gonna say the Imperials were about to execute Ulfric Stormcloak. Then the dragon attacked. Hmm. I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. That condescending what you say now hump. prevents us. Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? We're gonna steal the Yarrow's gold, all 38 of it. Against the Like even Nazim in the Cloud District had more gold. Dragon? We should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If you... He's got a tomato. Wagon is lurking in the mountains. That is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing Get to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yarl. All right, so if that's completed. Me, I'll return to my duties. Huh. That would be best. Interesting. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here. Okay. Take this as a small token of Leather my esteem. armor added. There is Started another Bleak thing Falls you could do for you. Suitable Ooh, for Fender. someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come. Let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. This is so weird. I don't I don't remember any of this. Like, like I said before, I, I, I've definitely played through this game a few times, but I just do not remember a lot of things. Where, um, where, where are we going? All right, this guy. What does he got? Gold lockpick, silver ruby. And we'll leave his cooked beef. Man likes his beef. What can we say? Yar, are you coming? Like, I've gotten here and robbed your wizard of all his goodies. Varengar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Have you? Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. Yeah, fill us in. Varengar, where are you going? Is he trying to walk around to us? Sorry. We're over here. Here, so you're the Jarl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for fetch me. Fetch something, well, like we're a dog. When wow. I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. 
So, what does this have to do with dragons? Ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. All right, all but right. I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? So, what did you need me to do? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Okay, this is funny. Oh, do you mean this old stone? Give Dragonstone the Ferengar. Okay, the Jarl left. He's gonna be thrilled. Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Nailed you it. You already found it. <laughs> you are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes the Jarl foists on me. What can I say? So what about my reward? You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his oh steward have an itchy. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. We're getting paid. Yeah, we better. Okay, oh, let's God. just try and grab this cooked beef. <laughs> Someone came in here yelling at him. Let's talk I to him. I wonder what Irileth is so excited about. No idea. Maybe we can use the enchanter Baron here. Love, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. Oops. You should come too. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and get out, do the thing. Sighted. Where was it seen? What, what was yeah, it doing? What happened? Where was I it seen? Take this Okay, so we've made a bit of a mistake here. Because we're so tired, it's actually making things blurry. I didn't know that was a thing. I, I, I'm I, sorry, now we know. I, I genuinely had no idea it would do this to us. Look at this. Fatigue, wearing, and we're hungry. Stamina's reduced. You're 70% less effective with a shield. Let's go ahead and eat. I mean, we've got the food. Maybe that'll unblur our vision. It, it's not, it's not a... Uh, Okay, we take two apple pies. 440 food. Here's cooked beef. Another 380. Here's a grilled chicken breast. Oh, we're well fed. All right, so things are still blurry because we we really need to sleep. We're just going to steal whatever he's got here. A soul gem? Like, when is he ever going to leave his place again? Oh, my goodness. I think they're actually having, like, kind of an important conversation. But uh, we'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. Three gold. You know, as much as you want to, like, like laugh at Nazim for, like, not being a nice guy, right? Can we sleep here? Own bed. Darn. He, he straight up was carrying more gold than I think anyone else we've seen. And on top of that, he... Oh, we've got to find somewhere we can rest. Oh, no. So many books. Nords of Skyrim. Oh boy. Let's uh, we'll come back to these books. You know there's a quest in there or something, don't you? Uh, they're having a chat. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh man, we missed it. You look tired, frail me. The banned mayor. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. Can we just get a nap first? I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight gonna... this dragon. What? You survived, <laughs> Helgen. So you have more experience with dragons Yarl, than anyone man. else here. Yarl. But I haven't forgotten <laughs> the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Yeah, Fine pay us God. up as you get blurrier and blurrier. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property. What a racket! And please, accept this gift from my personal Oh, we're going to be over encumbered now. I should come along. I would very much like to see this. What dragon. an absolute no, racket. I can't afford to risk both of you. Let me get this straight. We need you here working on ways he, to defend the city against these dragons. He legitimately he just said, hey, as a gift to you, you can spend your money to buy things in my place. Glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. He legit That's this is updating our map. I'm the very soul of court. He literally just said to us, Hey, you've done such a great work. Let me reward you. Go slay a dragon for us. Okay, let's let's um let's run back to the mayor. So we can, like, what is this? Hello? Oh, fall damage, not a thing. Okay. 
I envy you the chance to see this dragon. Up we're gonna we're gonna come back and talk to him. We are. We're gonna talk to all these guys. Like I just, like Jarl Bolgriff the Greater, right? That's his. That's his his moniker, his name, right? Everyone kind of has that second. It is lag out on us. Whoops. Like everyone has like uh, the guy was the the wolf bear or whatever. Oh, everything's so blurred. We're so Who's tired. Not? Who knew that was a thing? What is the effect we have right now specifically? Fatigue wary. Magicka and stamina regeneration 75% slower. We're 20% less resistant to disease. Beneficial potions do 60% less. Wow. I hope you get there in time. White run guard. He's like, hey, I hope you get there to kill the dragon before it kills anyone. Why don't you come with me, huh? Our stamina is just not regenerating. We're not even sprinting. Okay, maybe it is. It's just really slow. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Sur survival mode is no joke. I know I keep saying that, but like, I'm just kind of doing my thing, you know, making my way, and like, boom, it hits us like this. I was kind of just wanting to like. Let me know if you want anything. This is an. Old I think I got the. I enjoy this work. Um, I like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours, yours for a day. Yours for a day. Done. I'll show you to your room right this way. Okay. Right this way. If it's work you're looking what for. What were you doing in here? Hulda's the one to talk. What was she doing in here? It's 5 a.m. We're going to sleep a full day. Minus two hours. So that'll be 2 a.m., 1 a.m. Yeah, 21 hours. Tell me we're well rested, please. Because uh, if we do a full 24 hours, I think we'll get kicked out. But if we need more sleep, I guess we could do it. So it's the first of Heartfire, Morndis. I assume that's a day of the week and maybe a month of the year. I straight up, Yalgriff the Greater. He's like, I'm the best. I'm great. He's not. Legitimately, his reward for all of our... Oh, we got levels. Nice. All right, check the notes. Check the notes. So we're trying to keep three in the magic, one in two health. So we, we have two in magic. So there's one. So one into health. Okay, one into magic, two into magic, three into magic, one into health. How many levels did we did we have? Wow. Just wow. Six perk points. This is so cool. All right, what have we got? Pickpocketing. This is huge. This is huge right here. 50. Okay. An extra 50 pounds of carry capacity because of survival mode. That is just so cool. Huge fan of that. I know there's some cool stuff in pickpocketing still, right? Like, um... Pickpocketing gold is easier. Keys almost always work. Can pickpocket equipped weapons. We actually have the perk points to like get those things. I'm just not not super into that right now. How are we doing in lock picking? Okay, apprentice locks are easier. I feel like that's worth doing. And I don't think we can do anything else for now. We have four more perk points left. Anything in speech? No, we, we've got to buy and sell a lot more stuff in speech. That's a bummer. That's a real bummer. Okay, I, I'm not sure what magic we should really be putting our points into just yet. Or I'm not sure about armor. We clearly don't wear heavy armor. And we don't do a lot of smithing just yet. And we need to get to like 30. We need to get to 30 to mess around with smithing. How about enchanting? We could definitely do enchanting. We're going to keep these perk points for now. For destruction, what was this one again? Destruction spells will stagger only when dual cast. Interesting. We need to get the 40, though. We're just like, we, we've got some levels, but we also, like, just don't. Like, we really just don't. We have them in pickpocket. Anything good in sneak? Sneak attacks is one-handed attacks to six times damage. Yeah, that's why the sneak archer is so good, right? Um, you won't trigger pressure plates. Where's light armor? Are we wearing light armor? What can we get here? And yeah, we need to get the 30. We're going to save the perk points because I feel like we're going to need them for something in the mage tree. I just don't know what spells we're really using. I know we conjure stuff quite a bit, but like we don't bind weapons. And we don't really dual cast and summoning things further away from us. I don't know the real advantage there. So we're going to hold on to this perk point. And same issue with destruction, right? Like, are we going fire or shocker or spell? I just, I don't know. Can place runes five times further away. 
Let's grab Apprentice Level Destructions for Half Magic. That's probably... Probably a safe bet. We still have three perk points we can save for now. So I think we're gonna hang on to them. I would like to get another point into... Maybe speech. Maybe speech is the way to if go. You know if there's anything... Okay, we're gonna eat something now. So here's a grilled chicken breast. Okay, here's a boiled cream tart. We're now satisfied. Here's some ale. Wait, two carrots for kicks and giggles. Two apples. Okay, here's a leg of goat roast. 220 points of hunger. We're now well fed. Can you believe that? We did it. We're actually, like, well fed. We're, we're, we're looking pretty good. Let's check in the magic what the active effects are. Okay, ale. So stamina regeneration is 30% slower for three seconds. For 30 seconds? Because we drink the ale. That's really good to, to know. Okay. Let's quick save there. We are mostly all together. We're going to run if back to the key. If you need drink, speak to Holda. I know that might seem a little silly, but I do want to talk to the people there while we were there. I, I don't want to, like, miss an interaction that might change after a dragon fight. I don't know if that's the case, but, like... If we, uh, if we I robbed you... So yeah, that's Carlotta. We were thinking about it. The gods and dragon reach say you hated the yard. So you're new. Omren. And his cooked beef. It took me weeks to find that thief's dead. I can't stop now. And I can't get the sword of my own. Actually, we need to talk to Amran. What is he talking about? He said it took me weeks to find that thief's den. Hmm? Okay, gold, house key. Mop the town. Okay, he's got some nice rings here. Wow. Keep your hands to your And where's Omrin? Where did he go? Talk to him. You feeling sick? You're not from Skyrim, are you? No, friend. That I'm not. But I get along with your kind well enough. What? No, I'm a red My family hails from the Imperial Prophets. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. What were you two arguing about? My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. Do you need help finding the sword? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby. But I'm no fool. I'd need the White Run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Okay. So find his sword inside Valheim. If you Peak. find that sword, please bring it to me. So I, I just heard him talking as we were walking by. And he said that... What did he say? I can't believe I could... Something about the sword and bandits. I thought maybe it was something I was right. All right, so let's let's get back to Dragon's Reach. We don't have a lot of gold. I, I know it's kind of funny to say that because we have, like, just under 8,000. But I think um, I think we're I think it's not gonna be hard to spend, to say the absolute least. Um, is somebody, somebody talking to us? I want to check these books quick. All doing is real. The ruins of Ramel. Because you know there's a quest in here somewhere. The third era timeline. The book of the Daedra. Troll slaying? Oh, it had an illustration. Nice. A minor maze. A minor maze? That looks like a big, a big maze. A really big maze. Rising threat, volume one. What is this one? The Legend of the Red Eagle. All right, this book is all over. Rising Threat Volume 4. Oops, just trying to read it. Song of the Return. Just trying to read this. None of these say steal. Rising Song of Return Volume 19. It's a long series. Gods and Worship. Okay. The Ethereum Wars. Let's grab that. I don't know if, if we know anything about that. Oh, investigate the ruins of. So that was a quest. The Oblivion Crisis. Let's grab that as well. 
Let's buy an Imperial Storium. Mysteries of Shiro Garath. Okay. The Rising Threat Volume 3. Lost Legends. Grab that. Let's buy an Archivist Route. Sounds kind of fun. Oh, it's another quest. How about that? So we grab two quests there. Okay. The Real Barons of Volume 3. The Alduin Akatosh Dichotomy. Interesting, it's written by the High Priest of Akatosh. The Bear of Markar Oops. The Bear of Markarth. The Crimes of Ulfric Stormcloak by Imperial Scholar. Killing Before You're Killed. Baron Zegas Song The Return, Mysteries of Akbar. <laughs> and the Cabin in the Woods. <laughs> okay. I think I just got the hiccups. Nerds of Skyrim. Oh, who invited me to get hiccups? Uh, anything else going on? Or is he sleeping? Give me your staff. All right, he's got an empty table. Yeah, we we, we kind of robbed him. Oh, my sneak went up, though. Good work, me. I'm very sneaky. What can I say? I envy you the chance to see this dragon up close. Okay, let's let's uh, let's clear this out. He's got. Is he gonna stand up? Where are you? Let's back you up. You know, if step. you are you feeling sick? Why does everyone ask that? All right, so. Where can I learn more about magic? A prospective student, are you? Well, I'm afraid I'm not much good at teaching. You should try your luck at the College of Winterhold. Okay. Are you the only wizard in Whiterun, Ferengar? I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. Technically? The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Okay. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Oh, yeah, sure. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. Why is he so demeaning? I, like me, I don't mind helping him. Good, you scum dog scum. Carry it for me. Like, he's just not nice. What's just taunt him? Have you encountered any dragons, Ferengar? Sadly, no. My yeah, we knew that. Me few Just opportunities rub it in. for such an adventure. Perhaps some hero will bring one to Dragon's Reach, like old Olaf, one I once did. Oh, that's right, what Olaf. What a fascinating conversation that would be. Oh, I forgot about him. We gotta look at Dragon's Reach. So, Ferengar, do you owe allegiance to the Imperials? If I said that was a tedious question, would you be smart enough to know Rude. what I meant? Rude. As long as I'm left alone to pursue my research, I don't care who gives the orders. Wow. Now, I'm a busy man, and your pointless questions are boring me terribly. Good day. Oh, he took that I really hard. I the chance to see this dragon up close. He clearly sides with the Imperials. Look, I think he was being honest when he was like, just let me do my studies. But at the same time, like, he was mad. Like, that was a really emotional reaction, right? Like, don't even talk to me, you, you fool. You fool. All right, Ferengar, what are your duties of a court wizard? What are the duties of a court wizard? I'll put it simply so you'll understand. Rude. I advise the Jarl in matters <laughs> of magic. If the hold is faced with any threats or mysteries of a magical nature, I am called upon to explain things and suggest a course of action. Huh. Hopefully that answer will satisfy you. Good day. That's actually kind of like... So he's got for sale. Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. All right. So we're going to start with miscellaneous. Bunch of soul gems. Only soul gems. Interesting. Anything I can sell him? Not good numbers on these, but I can sell him things, which we might do. He's only got 500 gold. Should not be hard to max that out. All right, let's see miscellaneous first. Soul gems, books. Do books last me? Peril. Okay. Wow. Conjuration spells cost 17% less. Magicka regenerates 100% faster. Illusion spells also cost 17% less. Man, is that a great outfit. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, they also got a bonus to like different spells. This one's really good. 3,000 gold. That's just 
way outside of our budget. Look at the books. Uh, okay, so these are new spells. Choking Grasp. Absorb eight points of health from the target for three seconds. I wonder if that works on things that like are undead, right? Clairvoyance we know. Conjure Familiar. Summons a Familiar for 60 seconds. What's a Familiar exactly? Conjure Flame Atronach. Yeah, see, that's pretty specific. Conjures an Atronach. Okay, so here's someone a zombie. Here's someone a foul zombie. Do we need a dirty zombie? What's the difference? Elemental Bolt? An Elemental Explosion for 20 points of fire and shock damage and stamina? Whoa! Fast healing. Fire rune cast on a surface explodes for 50 points of fire damage. I don't think these are competitive prices. Oh, heals the target for 15 points, but not undead machines or Atronax. Okay. You move quietly for 180 seconds. I think we buy this one. Muffle. Muffle sounds pretty good. Darn, he's got some really good stuff in here. Soul Trap? How do we not have this? Why isn't that not a default spell we have? Fills the Soul Gem? Absorbs 16 points of health per second from target. Wow, like there's some cool stuff here. I don't know if, if they make sense to use. We're going to buy the Muffle. You move quietly for 180 seconds. I bet we can level Illusion like that. See, it says it's an Illusion spell. And we're going to buy the Soul Trap. How do we not have a Soul Trap spell? To fill Soul Gems. Like without buying this, like how do you fill them? And we'll sell him some stuff just because we, we've got to get like... No, I wanted to enchant the... But we need soul gems to enchant thee. Darn you, you know, Ferengar. We... Let's ask him how to enchant Come to things. Dragon's... So give us one. Ah, student of the craft. You'll need to start by learning an enchantment. Yes, teach Take us, please. Take an enchanted weapon or piece of armor. Then use the arcane enchanter to learn its secrets. The item is destroyed in the process, so be wary. Okay. Once you know an enchantment, you'll need a filled soul gem. A and something filled to soul enchant. gem. You don't You'll use say. the arcane enchanter for that, too. Of course, I have everything you need for sale if you have the coin. Of course. So Remember, he doesn't give us the stuff to do it. Is the best weapon you have. Thank you, Farangar. That's a great point. So I've never played a mage, so this is just stuff I don't mess with. I've never needed to, right? So if I want to enchant something, we're gonna we're gonna enchant some rings, right? Here's a um we've got a bunch of silver rings. We have 14 silver rings. Most of them stolen, so we cannot sell them. We're going to select it, and we're going to craft, choose an item, enchantment, and soul gem. Let's start with the enchantment. Do we have a soul gem? Okay, we have two. Select, enchantment. We'll just do, I don't know. Like, are these different? We'll just do archery. Why not? Item value 30. Oh, this this is value 30. What about health instead of carry weight? Value 30. Huh. Quit enchanting. Yes. Let me come back to our spells for a second here. So magic all. So we're going to get rid of this. Now we'll leave clear. Yeah, all spells. Where is. These are not all our spells, right? What is, what is going on here? Restoration, conjuration, conjure zombie. Didn't we just learn a spell? But did we not learn it? Oh, yeah, there it is. So let's use the soul trap and the muff. Okay, so now if we go to items, now if we go to magic, we 
We go to all, so we learn new spells. There's Muffle, an apprentice spell, so we're a favorite. And Soul Trap, favorite. And then let me see what's in our favorites here. Zombie, Clairvoyance, Flames, Fury, Healing. So there's Muffle and there's Soul Trap. So let's make our... What did it do exactly? We should read it. Illusion. So we're going to go into Illusion. Let's get rid of... This makes sense. This makes sense. Seeing our favorites here, we do not need Clairvoyance. And I think even Fury... We'll be okay with that. Muffle is an apprentice level spell. You move more quietly for 180 seconds. We're going to try and cast this every 180 seconds. See if we can level up our illusion a good bit. Destruction, we've got flames favorite. Conjuration, just the zombie and the soul trap. Restoration, we have healing. We've got a shout. Interesting. That is powers, active effects. We're not sick. Doing okay, we're doing okay. So let's go ahead and drop a quick save there. This is the muffle, so we should move quietly. Did we look different at all on our feet? Oh, look, our feet glow. I don't know how well you can see that. There's a glow to our feet. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Sven, though. Sven is in some clanky, heavy armor, though. Son, we're gonna gonna go kill a dragon are you are you ready for this have you steal from cupboard sure why not what's in here nothing about you are you prepared for this uh what is this bone meal thank you anybody see that no okay Sven, my guy like are you are you ready for like where is this chanting is that what we're doing 20 percent stronger so i want to see if that makes it more valuable uh, we still have the sword. We want to give that to the steward. Where might the steward have gone? He's probably stewarding. Steward, steward. Steward, hello? Anybody home? Search chest. So this doesn't say steal at all. It just says take. Dragons reach Jarl's quarters. So let's save on this side of the door. Maybe this is off limits out of bounds. I just want to give the sword to the steward just to like knock that quest out and then we can keep rolling. Nobody high and mighty in these halls except in the Jarl. And don't you forget. And that popped our illusion up. And that was a level up. Open door. This goes up. Oh, here's the dude. Here's the dude. All right, let's let's um, let's just drop a save here. He's got 40 gold, two silver rings, gold necklace, cooked beef. All right, that's probably... Are we stealing? No, it's just take. So it doesn't count as stealing. Man, that extra 50 carry weight is just fantastic. What's in the chest? Again, in not stealing. Okay, this would be stealing, that potion I wonder what the difference is. Wardrobe. None of that is stolen. This isn't stolen. Let's talk to I him serve really Jarl quick. Balgruff as steward. Okay, I have a sword for you from your daughter. Here we go. From Adrian? Yeah. Ah, this must be that weapon for the Jarl. Poor girl. So eager to prove herself. Wow. I'll present it to Balgruff when his mood is agreeable. Thank you. Please, take these few coins for services rendered. Okay, 20 gold. Fair. It's a heavy sword, man. Okay, what is this city's history? Ah, splendid. Our fine city has a proud history, and I'm happy to share what I know. The history of Whiterun begins with your Vasker, the Hall of the Companions. Man, everything points at them, huh? For a long time, it was the only <laughs> building on the mountain. As time passed, a thriving community sprang up around Yorvaskar, as was common with Mead Halls. Today, Whiterun is the jewel of Skyrim. I can say without boast that it is the greatest city in all the I wonder world. if he's visited all the other cities. So tell me about the city's districts. Well, there are three of them, arranged in three tiers, as you may have noticed. I did not. The Plains District is so named because it's the closest of the three to the plains that surround the city. The inn and marketplace are found there. 
Okay. Most of the city's residents live in the Wind District, which is the middle of the three. Dragon's Reach occupies the highest, which we call the Cloud District. From here, the Jarl can see all that goes what on. What is this? Lower city. class, middle class, upper class? What, what what kind of division is this? Like 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 right on the nose, huh? All right, Preventus. Why is it called? Why does it keep called Dragon's Reach? Now remember, we've read Olaf and the Dragons, so we know, right? Does he know? We'll see what he says. Maybe it's different. That is an old tale, but well known to those of us who serve in the keep. Oh yeah. Long ago, there lived a mighty hero of the Nords. Olaf, 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 one Olaf did battle with a fearsome <laughs> dragon named Numenex. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The struggle between Olaf and the dragon culminated in a mighty duel atop Mount Anthor with Olaf the victor. I love it. Olaf returned in triumph to Whiterun. By his decree, the city's keep was rebuilt as a prison for Numenex. And so, from that time until this, our great keep has been called Dragon's Reach. What a true son of Skyrim here, huh? Anything you need from me. Of course. Oh boy. It's all in this note. Of course it is. Wait, wait. Divines bless you. May the ground you... Let's quick read that note before we just forget forever. Hey, Van, I apologize for the secrecy, but I'd rather not speak about this in front of the Jarl. In the event the information I received is incredible, he has enough on his plate as it is. You see... Earlier last week, I received a tip from an unnamed anonymous source regarding a potential assassination plot on the Jarl. Now, while we take all threats seriously, it's difficult to know just how credible the source is. And if everything that's happened as of late, I don't have time to investigate this myself. That's why I'd like you to head to Arcadia's Cauldron and check their ledgers for any suspicious purchases. In particular, poisons. I've asked Arcadia to leave a copy on her counter. Look it over and find out who purchased bottles over the last few days and confirm their reasons are legitimate. In the meantime, I'll have our cooks check every piece of food, bottle of mead, and leftover breadcrumb just to be sure nothing is tainted. If your investigation turns up nothing, then I'll know the information I receive is false and that you're all safe for the time being. If not, I hope some of your reputation... If not, I hope someone of your reputation can take care of the situation swiftly. Interesting. This is the same place the other guy wants us to go. This is why you talk to I'll everyone. Quake as you pass. I serve Jarl uh, Bogor We want to buy student. the house outside the city. Very well. Just let me know when you have the necessary... Oh, no. How close are we? 7483. Very funds. Darn you, sir. We need like 20 more gold. We need 20 more the gold. Arl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Okay, there's five. Perhaps five more assist. gold. Drop a quick save here in case we're trespassing. We're just going to make a run for it. Oh, there's all these kids in here. Whoa. <gasps> Another one of these stones. No way. There it is. See it floating? It rotates. That is so cool. You can't take that. We just got a bounty of like a thousand million hundred gold. Like way more than we gonna like it said we could take it. It did not say steal. So that's a little cursed. Father says I'm too young to train with the sword, so I practice with my fists. Darn it, Sven, put that sword away. There's children around. Nobody sees us. Nobody sees. Who can see us? Those little kids. Turn those kids. 12 gold. Okay, that's enough to buy the house. That's exactly 7,500. Here to lick my father's boots. Oh my goodness. He's not very nice. Oh, we lost him. Steward, come back. Where do you think he went? Let's check Dragon's Reach? Is that not where we are? Mm, there's the Jarl. Oh, here he is, here he is. The task so I like, is I like to purchase wonderful. the homestead outside Here's the, the city. Key to your new home. Thank you. Now we have a place we is can always sleep. I can help you with? Which, which is worth it to me. We did deliberately buy the one outside the city we visited. I did a little digging. That one's supposed to be pretty sweet. 
The end. And that's that's about all I checked. We're actually at zero gold now, which is pretty wild. <clears throat> okay, nobody's looking, right? Take unusual gem. I'm taking it. Nobody saw that. Ha! 18 gold. All right, we're not completely broke now. We have 18 gold. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We officially have two of these unknown gems, unusual gems. There they are. We have two of them. Gorgeous. 22 more to go. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's go and fight the dragon. Why not, right? What else are we supposed to do, huh? There's a white one guard uniform in Elvis. Oh, it's a master lock. Some plates, an apprentice lock. Maybe we'll pop this just for the uh, the practice here. Like, is it illegal to open? Just gonna leave it open. Another apprentice. I don't recognize that shield at all. I don't know why I would, but like of the sh oops, of the three or four shields we've seen, that one actually looks like it's something. Like it's got a pattern on it. Okay, okay, let's see. It's just banded iron and a steel dagger. Okay. Not stealing, though, by the way. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. This is a master one. We're going to go for it. We have 27 lockpicks. Tw 26. Ooh, that might might be it. If we can just get a little little wiggle on it. This will be pretty lucky. We did love love lock picking once, just from failing. So you know, winning. Oh, it's so close. Oh no, that was it. Maybe it wasn't. I wonder if the speed matters. Like, are you rewarded for going slow or going fast? Because we're like so close to where we were. To not like have gotten it and I wonder if we reload if it resets the point we'll just turn it really slow does not seem to matter so we went all the way right and then two notches up did not move it there just reset the spin that was worth 10 so this will be stealing the elven sword here. We saved it. Nobody saw that. We're going to keep that elven sword. That one's kind of fun, right? And then we're going to go ahead and unlock this display case as well. It's an apprentice one. Got it. And then this would be stealing. So we're just going to leave them all open and unlocked for now and head towards that dragon fight. Well, there's another one we can unlock, right? I think that's a dwarven sword. What do you think? I don't know. Oh, there's a I bunch of books. Jarl Balgrub as steward. Darn. Sir, we really must talk. You've got 60 seconds. Go. We really must discuss the security. Here Explorers the guide the Skyrim. Looks like it might have a quest. Yeah, Perhaps map updated. Patrols in the Pirate King of Abansia. Yeah. Okay. Woodcutter's wife. Volume one. I'm gonna take that one. That could be a fun read. Alright, let's go, let's go. Damn it, Provence. I've got more lurking just outside my gates. I've seen you helping the yard. Only all visitors to White Run were as noble. As noble. We're helping the Jarl. Let's get this straight here, buddy boy. We did the Jarl like ten huge favors. First off, like a good Nord for Skyrim, like a true son of Skyrim. We came all the way back here. To let him know about the dragon attack and that Ulfric is alive and well. Number one. No, they are as comfortable here. Very good. And. Breathing in the filth of our own corruption. Wow. This guy's pretty wild. Well, you. Have us. Ended from the dung of mortality. Wow, the dung of mortality. Oh, That's yeah? something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Oh boy. 
Let's These guys see. are persistent, like huh? Got to go. Okay, see ya. What did he give us? Why are courier notes not their own tab? Um, we have two of these now, of course we do. Steward's note, is that the one? Nope. Lost Legend, is this the one? No. No, something about a knife. Letter from the Jarl of Falkreath. No, we already read this one. Homestead for sale. We just bought that. Darn, for sale again? Oh, the goat. We gotta buy that goat. Like, he sold it right here. First line. Able to carry a hefty amount of weight. Done. Dinner invitation? Oh, this is the one. All right, start a guest for dinner. Vad, you've been cordially invited to dinner and drinks at Bloodshell Manor. Bloodshell Manor? Ah, it's not very friendly sounding. As an honored guest, you are encouraged to come early and mingle with the other attendees. When you're ready to feast, ask the house waiter for a menu. He'll let you into the banquet hall. The finest and most delectable dishes will be on display. There will be no need for appetizers once everyone's ready and seated. A full course awaits. Come for dinner, stay for drinks. Is this from the vampires? Bloodchill Manor? You cannot favor this item. Map. Journal. Where is Bloodchill Manor? Show on map. In the middle of nowhere. Where is this? Right next to us. <laughs> yeah. How are you on gold? 48. We only have 50 gold to our name. Brutal. All right. Okay. We did buy it. Oh, the shops are here. Are they open? What time is it? It's 8 a.m. So they're not quite here yet, apparently. Let's grab. This is the shop, right? Oh, it's not open either. We can unlock the door. A little bit illegal, but we can do it. Already been told you're not what is this? You. Turn around and go back the way you can. We're causing no trouble. All we ask Ali Car Warriors. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. What did they do? We will be back. This is not over. They're persistent. You there. We're looking for someone in White Run. And we'll pay good money for information. Money, you say? Who are you looking for? A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. Look at their cursed She's swords. How cool is that? Using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Okay. Why are you looking for them? It's none of your concern. Oh, All okay. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. Okay. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. Okay. If you what do you have on you? Okay, Nothing. Find us in Rorikstead. Do you have news of our quarry? Get away from Wow. Me. They both have nothing on them. I mean, like, nothing. We could not steal anything from them. Kind of wild. So let's see if we can't do a couple of things here quick. We go this way. Oh, that's kind of a long drop, isn't it? But that's not bad. So try and just get our illusion to keep cooking. And we're going to try and go to our home quick. Just to, to see it, and then we have a bed we can sleep in, we have to pay for, and we can also, like, we're carrying a bunch of stuff. You know, we, um, we have 240 pounds of stuff on us, and I'm just hoping that we can not have 240 pounds of gear. And Sven is great, but when we have an item that's stolen, we can't sell it unless our speech is like three times higher than it is, which which is not. And the other issue is we not only can't sell it, but when it's in Sven's inventory, our follower, it's not immediately obvious if if it's stolen. It doesn't tell us like it doesn't keep track of it. So when we're trying to do a thing, Whatever that thing might be, it like kind of like double screws us there. 
Because, like, Sven's over encumbered. We go to sell his stuff. But it turns out his stuff is... So here it is. Here's a new house. Very exciting. Tundra Oak Homestead. We spent all of our gold on this. However, it's all ours. We're not going to spend too long here because we can do it all, like, a lot. But there's, there's a load of books in here that we, we need to get through. Oh, wink. Um... Yellow Book of Riddles. Strong box that's empty. We can pop this door. We've got a bed we can sleep in. Comes with some um, some food. So we can put all this stuff in this knapsack. We, we can put it wherever. Whatever container we put it in will not be... I wish we could sort by stolen, right? So we have 240 pounds. We're going to sort all of these until we're like ready to enchant them 11 stolen rings here just really 18 stolen rings no one in skyrim has a ring left that was 40 pounds of rings and jewelry isn't that wild and the weapons here the dwarven sword the elven dagger the elven sword awesome and then i think there's a bookshelf right oh look a bookshelf books put here will be on the shelf look at this we're gonna put books here Instead of, like, carrying around. So we cannot remove quest items. Okay, so that bookshelf is apparently now full. Whoops. And maybe one day we'll sort these. I don't know. But for now, like, all these books we're carrying... So anything that's not a quest item is now on the bookshelf here in our house. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? We should probably, like, not. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. It does. It looks nice because it's not in our inventory, which is huge. Sven's got some junk. Sven, darn. Why are we sneaking around? I'm right behind house, you. Huh? All those ingots and stuff. Okay, so ingots. We're going to throw all of those in here. The strong box. That is 100 pounds of, like... Random. Okay, ingredients. So this place comes with... Check this out. You ready for this? Boom. That's right. Our own enchanter and a potion table. I mean, that is just so cool. So where should we... Here is the apocryphy satchel. So we're going to put in all the ingredients in here. For now, if we've picked up an ingredients here... Oh, we just ate a death bell. Whoops. Look at that, that's 100 pounds of just random stuff. We're gonna keep all the food on us. In the potions for now. Oh, yep, see? See, we came out of there and took some damage. Talk Still to here. Sven. What else what do you have you want got, me to Sven? So Sven has a steel shield, an elven shield, a bunch of backpacks. What about weapons? His sword? Okay, for a minute. Last thing we're gonna gonna see here. This is so cool. Open up the cellar. More bookshelves. Some seats. Some books to read. We're gonna not read them right now. Open up door. Look at this. Look at this. How cool is this? Like it's our own display room. We can like set up these mannequins. So like here, this mannequin we can give him the elven shield. Look, he's got it now. Right? We give him the elven sword. So we can get a whole set of elven door. I don't know if we will, but it'd be so cool if we did. And then check this out. Place golden dragon claw. Look at that. There it is. It's right there. Which means there's an ivory, an iron, a sapphire, a ruby, a coral, a diamond, an ebony, an emerald, and a glass. Like, we've only seen one of these. Look how many more there are. Man, that is like so exciting. Like it genuinely is. At least I, I think so. And, like, here's these, like, cross swords, right? So there's not, like, a dump container like there was upstairs. I'd kind of like that, like, one chest. Oh, there is. I'm, I'm, I'm silly. There's a, there's a safe and the chest. That's awesome. Better I've got your back. Down. Okay, I need to trade some me things with you. So, Sven, I'm taking the steel armor, the Dawnguard shield, the steel horned helmet, the adventurer's backpack. <gasps> The steel cuff boots, the Nordic gauntlets. You keep the sword, Sven. You're keeping the Lead sword. On. Thank you. Okay, see this, like, iron shield? We're going to take the iron shield. Go into items. We're going to go to Dawnguard shield. 
We're gonna equip it. Okay, we're gonna pull out. See, we have a shield. See the shield here, right in front of us? Here we are. I'm trying to get in front of... I won't. Alright, and now I can activate shield rack. So... We're gonna equip it. There it is. Now the Dawn Guard shield is, is on our wall, which is cool. So maybe we could get... I don't know if these are the same. These ones over here, the weapon plaque, is... These ones, but we can maybe get all the shields from the holds. I don't know, like, I just think there's some cool stuff you could do with this house. I mean, that that's kind of the gist of it. Let me check my items here. So we have a carry weight of 275. We're only carrying 98 pounds of stuff. We're going to pop up top. Come with us, Sven. Come with us. I looked up who gave Sven the bow and arrow, by the way. Let's try and get those boots of sneaking. Let's get their, um, what did I just pick up? Arcane Enchanter. Here we go. Disenchant these leather boots. Sneaking is 20% better. Done. That destroyed the boots, but we learned the stuff. Okay, apparel, fine clothes, iron shield, fine hat. You know what, Sven? Do you want a hat? Still here. What do you, you want me to carry? trade something with you? If I give you this hat, will you wear it? He will. Ah, oh, Sven, how do you like the hat? What do you think? You know what, Sven? Iron Shield. Okay, that's you lead, Sven. I'll follow. He's a real Nord now. He's got some nice clothes. Look at that. He's got that steel sword. Big old fancy. Big old fancy steel. Uh, it was steel, right? I've got your back. What do you want me to carry? The Iron Shield. He's got an Iron Shield. I mean, you lead, Sven's a I'll real follow. Nord. Like, he's a true Nord. And Sven, you've been great. You really have. I think the dragon's going to be where we part ways. We've been sent to kill a dragon. And Sven, you've been on some adventures, man. I think it's time we part ways. I know that this might come as a surprise to you. It's kind of coming as a surprise to me. I didn't plan this so much as, like, it just feels like it's the right time for us, Sven. I think, I think you've done good work. So Sven's been with us all the way here to level 17. Sven, what do you need? What do we need? This is kind of a sad moment for us here. Still need I, me to do something? We do. But I, I really hope that, that you've you've gone on a journey. We fought some things. You have some, some very nice clothes now. Should have stolen some nice boots. He'll figure it out. You have some weapons. You've got some levels. And if I were remembering correctly, he was trying to be a bard. Or he was a bard. But he needed an adventure to go on, and he's better on an adventure. Still Sven. here, Sven. It's 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 time. It's time for us to part ways. Sven, you've been great. I'll head back home if you need me. Thank you, Sven. You were a true son of Skyrim. Your follower leaves your service. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Wow. It's so empty here without Sven.